Baby Driver. Finally, a contender for Film of the Year? So what is it you do? I'm a driver. Oh, like a chauffeur. Anyone I'd know? I hope not. In the film, you've got Kingpin Kevin Spacey's character Doc, who puts together a different team for every heist, with one exception. He always has the same getaway driver, Baby. 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 Once Baby meets diner waitress Deborah, played by Downton Abbey's Lily James, they both see a way out of this life. But as is the way with any good movie, this love story will cause a whole heap of trouble for them both. You're a good girl, you love her? Yes, I do. That's too bad. You can say it's soppy, but for me, having that love angle at its core only helps us, the audience, care that much more about the characters. Ha! Gay! I've not seen a marriage to music like this since Pulp Fiction. It may be we haven't seen a film like this since Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. This is a tasty burger. Sam Jackson knows. Seeing this movie conjures up comparisons to Almost Famous, The Town, Point Break, Bullet, and The Blues Brothers. Doc said Michael Myers. This is Mike Myers. It should be the Halloween mask. This is a Halloween mask. No, the killer dude from Halloween. Oh, you mean Jason. No! Yes, he's an English director, and this is a classic American film. However, Wright told Komodo Mayo he just couldn't see a car chase movie being set in London with the speed bumps, one-way systems, and traffic. It's a fair point. No one wants to go to the cinema to see a baddie sitting in gridlock. Oh, Christ, Jay. Oh, shit. Oh, no, they're coming. Shit, drive! Where? Where am I meant to drive to? Anywhere! This film is so well thought out. It feels like a reinterpretation of a 60s heist movie set in the coolest version of the modern day. Right. Let's talk about the cast. You've got John Hamm, John Bernthal, Jamie Foxx, and Kevin Spacey. Set to an insane soundtrack and super slick dialogue. And at the center of it all, you've got Ansel Eggert's Baby. The kid racer suffers from tinnitus, or tinnitus for our American friends. To cancel out the ringing in his ears, he has an iPod on at all times. Cue the best excuse to have the soundtrack of the summer. The character Baby is James Dean meets Justin Bieber. Okay, I take that back. This is Edgar Wright at his absolute best. You may know him from the awesome yet underrated Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Step up your game, Scott. Break out the L word. Lesbian? The other L word. Lesbians? And definitely from the Simon Pegg Cornetto trilogy. Here, however, as both writer and director, he's created a movie that will be talked about for years to come. The car chases are something from a different time and not a CGI in sight. Mm, that's unfortunate. Let it go. This doesn't just have a killer soundtrack. The scenes are actually choreographed to the music. They say the opening to any movie is critical to what follows. And Baby Driver's first five minute getaway scene is nothing short of perfection. The cast I mentioned, but I have to say, John Hamm's character opposite Jamie Foxx is electric. This is two top class actors playing their nasty best, be it in smaller supporting roles than you'd expect. It feels like we haven't seen either of these guys putting in a good term for some time, and the film is better for it. Are we in bed together now? The reason this musical getaway heist pick has hit such a chord with me? It doesn't miss a beat, and never putting a foot wrong. In the land of franchises, sequels and superheroes, this totally original score reigns supremes. All this leads me on a one-way street to a score of 9.5, because this is a thing of beauty that comes along very rarely. I, it, just, it was topical, it was erotic, it, I gave it a 9.5, I still got wood. Still, I gave it a, uh, a 10, a 10, a fucking 10. As always, please comment below and tell me what you thought of the film. Please subscribe and follow me on my Instagram, at MattDoesMovies.